So in this presentation, we're going to quickly run through the signs and firefighting equipment that will be covered in our health and safety units and therefore appearing in our first exam. So the first sign we're going to look at is the prohibition sign. It is circular in shape. It has a bar through the centre and it's predominantly red in colour. Most obvious one for this is prohibition sign for no smoking. So you're not allowed to smoke. Our next sign is our mandatory sign. Again, it's circular in shape. Predominant colour is blue. Mandatory sign saying things that we must do this time. So we must wear ear defenders. We must wear a hard hat. We must wear goggles. So it's a mandatory sign. Moving on to our hazard or warning signs. These are triangular in shape. Predominant colour is yellow. The most obvious one of these is uh, danger of electricity. Okay, so danger warning signs being yellow and triangular. The next one up is safety condition signs. These are things like for first aid boxes and running man signs. They are predominantly green, either rectangular or square in shape. Finally, our fire condition signs. These are to give us information about the firefighting equipment or exit routes, etc. These are either square or rectangular, and they are also red in colour. Next up is our firefighting equipment. We must remember that all fire extinguishers now are coloured red. However, they have a denoting band on them that tells us what is inside the fire extinguisher, and therefore we have to use that information to work out what type of fires we can fight with it. A red fire extinguisher with a red band is full of water. Our exam will lead us down the route of really what not to use this fire extinguisher on. So we are not to use a water-based fire extinguisher on electrical fires. They are used generally on paper and wood-based fires. Our next one is a red fire extinguisher with a blue denoting band. This is for dry powder. This fire extinguisher can be used on electrical fires. Um, it's not as good as using a CO2 fire extinguisher, and the exam often says that. In preference of the two fire extinguishers, you would go for the CO2, but you can use a dry powder fire extinguisher with a blue denoted band on electrical fires. We have the red uh, fire extinguisher with a cream uh, band on it, being one full of foam. A foam fire extinguisher, again, is predominantly made up of water, and the exam will lead us down the route of remembering not to use that type of fire extinguisher on electrical fires. It can be used on things like oil tank fires. We've also got a red fire extinguisher with a black band. This is the one the exam loves to mention because it's the one that tends to be the correct answer for being used on electrical fires. The black band denotes that it's got CO2 in it, carbon dioxide, and is our best fire extinguisher for our exams for tackling electrical fires. You fire it out, out comes the gas. The gas disperses around the electrical appliance, say a PC goes in and distinguishes the fire very quickly. We could have used a um, dry powder fire extinguisher, but it doesn't work as fast. It has to build up within the actual computer if the computer's on fire until eventually it's smothered a fire. We also have fire blankets. Fire blankets being used if a person's clothing caught fire, you'd wrap them in a fire blanket, or you had something like a chip pan fire. Two of the fire extinguishers to denote by colour, again for the exam, red in colour with a green uh, band on it is our vaporising liquid and a red fire extinguisher with a yellow band on it is our wet chemical. So that's just a quick run through of the safety signs and firefighting equipment that is covered in our first health and safety exam.